Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, how much could depend on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share video today is Thursday, the 29th day of February 2024. I bring the news update. We are being harassed, paying multiple times before we reach our destinations. That's according to the Fulani cattle dealers and foodstuff dealers as well. They call themselves the Amagamata Union of Foodstuff and Cattle Dealers of Nigeria. Yes, they have voiced out their dissatisfaction over the excessive, according to them, they call it excessive taxes imposed on their members along the south, south, and southeast highways. They said they have been harassed, they have been made to pay multiple, you know, taxes or taxation. See, as they are traveling from one of the northern states to any of the southeastern or south southern states, they will be paying money on the road. Yes, the highways leading to these places, the southeastern region, they will be paying money, paying money, paying money, paying money, paying money. But they didn't say the people who are collecting the money. They did not mention them. But they said they are paying money. You are paying money to who? These taxes who? Federal government agents, right? So their leader said, look, this is not happening if they are traveling from one state of the north to another state in the northern region, or from one state in the north to another state or to southwestern region, from northern region to southwest, that's Yoruba land. See, they will not face this kind of thing. But it's only as they travel from northern states to the southeast or south south, so that's when they'll face this challenge of collection of, you know, collecting money from them on the road, on the highways. You see, so their leader, who says is Muhammad Tahi, is stating, making this statement. He said, "Look, so these challenges is hindering their smooth operations and resulting in high consumer prices in these regions of the southeast and south south." In his statement, he released, "Quote: Our members are mandated to pay taxes at loading and offloading points, a practice observed in the southwest and the north." However, those transporting foodstuff and cattle from the north to the south, south, and southeast regions encounter numerous challenges, including multiple decisions. For example, when traveling from Maiduguri to Lagos, there are no such challenges. After paying taxes at the loading point in Maiduguri, no additional taxes are incurred on reaching Lagos. However, traveling to the south, south, and southeast from Maiduguri involves Encountering challenges in states like Benue, Cross River, Ebony, Abia, Imo, Rivers, Bias, Enugu, Anambra, Edo, and Delta. And of course, you see, so he's talking about their challenges they're facing on the road. People are collecting money from them. Who are there, if not the Nigerian police, the army, uniformed people? They will line up on the road leading to in the southeastern roads. South Southern Rose. Yes, they will line up, collecting money, collecting tolls. So these guys should open up and say, people in uniform are collecting money from them. That's what is happening. You see, look, you see, in, as they are in the northern region, if they are traveling, they will not see this kind of thing on the highways. If they are traveling to the southwest, they will not see this kind of thing on the highways. Why is that? Is that sad? Because of the what the federal government is doing, but in the southeast, where they will, you know, deploy the military, the police. Once they had been deployed in this region, the military and the police will feel, oh, we have come to where we make money. They feel that in the southeast and the south south, there is too much money. There is economic viability. Once they are in the north, the impression of the southeast and south south is that. Everybody is a billionaire. That is the impression in the northern region. Everybody there, once they are there, so they have the, 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 the impression that everybody is a billionaire. So once they come, their lobby will be posted to the southeast. If you go to northern region, Alokbo, you will see the police officers, the army officers, begging, pleading, lobbying, bribing their way for them to be posted or deploy or they deploy as the case may be to the southern or to the southeast and southern south southern states. That's old eastern region. That's the where they want to stay. 
that they will be mounting you know multiple roadblocks on the highways collecting money because it does because they feel that there's money in the region money flows there's economic viability yes unlike where they're coming from the 19 northern states a lot more you've seen it true that is what is happening so they have to experience what people are experiencing in the southeast let them suffer it let them suffer it indeed have suffered a lot on the highways because of this thing multiple roadblocks multiple checkpoints military checkpoint police roadblock everywhere well, one kilometer one kilometer one kilometer so the cattle dealers for any cattle dealers and those who are bringing food stuff to make money in the side yes to sell and make money and go back and enjoy let them suffer it let them suffer what the people have risen they're suffering on account of the occupation of the military of the army of the new OG. So they should stop uh, lamenting. No lamentation. No lamentation. Yes. No lamentation. The people of the zone have been suffering this for a long time. Occupation. Occupation. Any slightest provocation, not even provocation. Opportunity. They are looking for opportunity to deploy. Heavily military deployment. Not nobody's been provoked. Nothing. It's just opportunity. Any small thing they see. They make deployment, every deployment, and those people will be here, they'll be collecting money. Tours everywhere, making money in billions, in billions, yes, in billions. So that is what the illegal toll collection by the military and Indian police reached billions of dollars in estimation. The whole of the South East, yes, it's not small money they are making. So that is what is happening. They feel any lamenting, crying what they are seeing on the road. But this thing is not happening, it's not happening to them. It's not happening in the Yoruba land. It's only in the eastern region, old eastern region. Yes. So we are saying, by Leno, none of they do now. If you check all these military, they are not Igbos. If you check all these police who are collecting this illegal money from them, they are not Igbos. They are, they are brothers. But for the fact they have come to Eastern land, they are causing this problem. So they are collecting money from them because they feel that, oh, they want to go make money in the Biafra land, in the Eastern region. So they have to pay. And in most cases, they feel that this cow, they are being owned by the Ibos. That's why they are even collecting this money from them. The police and the army. Yes, they feel that the cow, the food stuff, they are being owned by the Nibo. The Nibo went there to bring the this thing back to Alibo. So, so they feel that let's exploit them. Even for the even if the, the, the people who are converting to the Afghan people, they feel that they are doing it for business for Nibo. Yeah, you know, so that's what they're doing. Unfortunately or fortunately they are doing it for their own people, against their people. So that is it. Everybody is suffering it. The exploitation of the people in uniform.